Hi, my name is Jack Tribuani from Usin Community. Here's an introduction to using the grid in Usin Hollyhock. Start Usin and create a new empty workspace. Create two other racks with the Ctrl T shortcut or Command T for a Mac. Start Usin Engine. Open the browser by clicking this icon. Under the Library tab, expand the Groove Machines folder and drag and drop the Groove Base patch to your first track. Then browse to Audio FX folder, Distortion, and drop the Distortion patch to your second track. We'll also add the Reverb patch from Reverb folder into the third rack. Now add the Groove Bass Rack output to the Distortion Rack input and to the Reverb Rack input. Lower the Distortion's Rack out level and bump up the drive. We're ready to use the grid. Mute the Groove Bass Rack. Fold up the patches for a better view and open the grid with this button. Enlarge the grid with this handle. Let's say I want a four-part tune with an intro, part one, part two, and end. Alt-click the names of each section to rename it. Leave section zero empty. It will be used as a kind of park section. My groove bass will be played during all the song. Drop its patch to each grid section. And I'd like to have a distortion on part 1 and part 2. And a reverb on part 2. Drop the patches on the grid. Unmute the groove bass rack. To move from a section to another, you can use these buttons. Forward. Backward. Notice the patches stopping and starting depending on their position on the grid. You can change each section length. For example, I'd like a two bars intro length. Right click it, triple click duration field and enter two. But perhaps you'd prefer counting seconds instead of bars. No problem. Right-click the section and choose Seconds in the format list. Let's go back to bar mode. Your section's default state is loop mode. You can change this by clicking the small icon at the right. Red means pause at the end of the section. Green, go to next section. And blue, loop this section. Let's say I'd like my intro and part one to be played once. I switch it to next. And part two will be looped till I decide to finish the tune. I leave the loop mode. I want the grid to stop at the end. Switch it to pause. If I want to override the loop mode without losing the synchronization, I can arm the continue button. my tune, I'll decide to go smoothly to the end of the tune with this button. Now I want my tune to start and stop with fades. Zoom the intro section by double-clicking it and stop the grid. Right-click the groove bass element. In the contextual menu, go to Fade In, select Bars for the fade format and triple-click the duration to set it to 1. Close the menu and zoom out the grid using that button. Do the same for the end, but selecting the fade out option. Let's add a section after the end of my tune to hear the fade. Click the End section and add a new one with this button. 
you can also insert and delete sections with this menu. To change sections order, hold and drag it. You can move inside the grid by holding the background. You can customize your grid by right-clicking it. Here, a comment. And under I tab, I choose another color. And I have a good news for you. You can also drop a wall rack in the grid. This gives you a lot of freedom to control your parameters. Let's say I want to automate the rack 1 main level out. First, let's change the rack header color. Click the rack and change header color. Now, drop the rack on the grid intro section. Expand the grid element horizontally to fit the wall song. Right click the element. Select this tab. Here, you can control any rack's parameter. In my case, it's out rack. A level curve appears in my grid element. Expand it. To edit, double click the line. Now, draw your curve. It's applied to the volume fader. Thanks for watching.